Hi, hello, I'm Cliff and I'm in my shed. Tonight the time has come to change the motor on my lathe. <clears throat> this old pig's been playing up a bit lately and um, I'm going to change it. And there's a couple of things that's not good about it because I've just switched it on. And it, to get it started I've got to pull the flywheel which ain't ideal <clears throat> and and it keeps doing that just packing up for no reason and I don't know if you can hear that clicking that noise on the um, spindle when I engage the pulley to the <clears throat> spin, uh, spindle it's uh, that knocking is in the bearings on the motor I think this problem that, that's probably just the capacitor on the motor I'm not sure but I think that's what it is but I wanted to change it at some point for a, um, a VFD so I could have variable speed <clears throat> didn't particularly want to do it right now to be honest with you but one came up on eBay so I bought it and I'm going to change it before I change it. I've got a little um, pulley on here that I'm going to bore out to fit the new spindle. The spindle on my old motor is just short of 20 mil. The one on the new motor is 15.9 um, millimeters. So I'm going to bore this pulley out to fit the motor before I put it on. And it'll be the last thing I do with this this lathe, this motor anyway. Not the lathe. Um, I'll take you over and show you the new kit, kit I've bought. So this is the new motor and controller that I've got on eBay. <coughs> new to me anyway, second hand. Um, this controller is a lot bigger than I thought it was, even though I mean it was quite clear in the photo how big it was, but it is quite a lump. I'm going to have to figure out a way of mounting that. I, mean, I think I'm going to have to make some sort of plate for this to go on to and then fix it somehow but I'll show you that when I do it I don't know how I'm going to do it yet I mean it's a really good setup it just plugs in <coughs> let me show you and the, um, the motor has just got a plug on it and that just plugs into the bottom of the controller and then On the top of the controller, I've got to swap these round. So here's the controller, you've got an emergency stop there. That was pressed in when I first got it. When I first plugged in, I didn't think it worked, I was gutted. <coughs> but it all works beautifully. So you've got on off buttons, forward and reverse buttons, you've got um, variable speed selection switch, then you've got three preset speeds, uh, the variable speed and you've also got a jog function on it. So we're on the variable speed, off it goes, I don't know if you can hear that and see that the motor's spinning. works beautifully and you've also got these preset speeds obviously that's and then you've got this jog function so you can just jog the motor around all right <clears throat> so that's it that's all I've got to do is strip the lathe strip the old motor off the lathe 
<clears throat> that old motor, I think it's only half horsepower, but it's a big heavy old bugger. I remember putting it on there when I first got the lathe. When I brought it up here and reconditioned it and put it all back together, it weighs a ton, that motor. So, I brought this out and stuck it on there. Right, I'll show you some more when I've got some more to show you. Right, we're getting there. The motor is on. It is all wired up, it is working all right. Um, I had to cut a keyway in the pulley on the end of the motor shaft, but that was a bit of a pain, but it's all done now. And <coughs> I'm making this plate to mount the actual controller on. I've got this cut out here for a little hall effect digital tachometer that I've got on my wood lathe at the moment that I'm going to change over and put on this it means I've got a matter of bracket somewhere up there to try and mount a bracket to fit and fit a magnet on here somehow this is aluminium which is a pain so I'll have to herald it or something on there but I've still got to figure that one out it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but I thought I'd do it while I'm doing this but this is pretty much made I'm just gonna score the back of it and bend that over slightly so that's going on somewhere about there right onward and upward all right so i've just scored the plate i just scored it and about just ran it over the top of my um table saw not ideal don't do the blade a lot of good but i'm just going to stick it in the vise now and bend it over a bit just so it's got a little bend on it Alright, now that's him with a little bend on it. Now that fits on there like that. I'm going to read out there and the uh, controller there. Alright, I'm just going to give that a spray. Just going to undercoat it, prime it, let that dry and bolt it on and put the controller on there. Alright. It's all in now. It's pretty late now on day two of it. I'm just going to um, <coughs> give it a run. It's all plugged in. The only thing I haven't done is I've still got to do some sort of mount for the sensor for the techo tachometer. But, um, let's give it a go. I've just got the magnet stuck on the ball gear at the moment. So I'll, uh, I mean this is as the uh, tachometer came off me woodwork lathe, I'll stick that on there, right let's give it a go then, right moving forward, run, little bit of belt squeak there but hopefully you can tell the difference between the noise that's making and the the noise it was making all right let's give the um, presets a go all right this is in the uh, I'll tell you what I'll, um, I'll turn that off let's, let's go through the gears and see what speeds we get through So that's the preset. Let me zoom that in a bit, move the camera a bit and zoom it. You can see the uh, tacky meter there now, I think. Try not to stick my fingers in the gears. Alright, so the preset in the slowest gear on the um, pulleys 
is 127. Second one's 253.54. The third one's about 300. Try it on the middle gear, middle pulley. All right, slowest speed's about 230. Middle one's 374. Speed 544. As we hear the middle speeds more like about 450. Trying on the fast one. First speed we get in 435, 860 on there, and 1028 on the top speed. Now the speeds on this, just with the old motor I've got written on the wall somewhere, were 276, 496 and 720, no 920 on there. So I mean I have got a smaller pulley on the actual motor than I had on my bigger one so the speeds would be different whatever. I'll tell you what, I was going to... Um, I can't remember whether this motor had a speed rating on it. I'm just going to see if I can get this magnet on here and just see how fast the actual motor's going. And see, try and get an idea if this is how accurate this is, if this will reach. I'll do this without damaging myself. Let's turn that on. Wait out that it's full whack. So the top speed of that motor is 1790. So I mean I could alter the speeds about if I put a bigger pulley on it, I could make it go a bit faster. <coughs> I was Hoping just to use it in the middle one. I'm not sure the top speed in the middle. Give me magnet back. So the top speed on the middle bell is about 550. I would have liked that to have been a bit higher than that. I mean you can turn it right down so... I don't know what the torque is like yet. Right, it's gone. 
you can't, can't, can't slow it down at all with your hand so yeah so at some point I might <coughs> put a slightly bigger pulley on the motor <coughs> give it a better top speed now I can have all the covers on and it will save me ever having to other than if I want to go really fast or really slow to change them but that's it for now on the whole I'm very pleased with it I'm very impressed with the quietness other than that little bit of belt squeak but I've got a new um, link belt to put on there anyway well thanks for watching is all that remains I'm going to put a little switch in here so I can switch the power on and off because this obviously has a separate power supply and weed all that somewhere and make a bracket for it but I'll do that in another video if anyone's interested right thanks for watching see you again looking forward to using my new quiet lathe just an added bit I don't even know if you can hear it on the video but um, I've put the link belt on there it's a lot tighter the link belt I might have to walk with the um, a bit I can't pull that up anywhere near where it was but uh that's it on the full speed which if I remember rightly was about it's on the middle belt about 500 and something Fifteen. It's a lovely thing, this. You have to stop it to go into forward or reverse. So, I think on the later ones, if you switch that across, nah, it's probably on some of the other VFDs. Anyway, that's it with the uh, link belt on it. It's even quieter. See you again. Bye.